Hi everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Stratego Assassin's Creed. Let's check it out. Okay everybody, here we go. So in Stratego you're going to have 10 different characters that you're going to be on your side of the board, soldiers so to speak, and they're going to be ranked 1 through 10. Now 10 is going to be the strongest character and 1 is going to be the weakest character. On top of this you're going to have what is called the Apple of Eden. I have mine set up over here and it looks like this. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to protect this piece. If this piece gets captured then you're going to lose the game. Uh, now in the very beginning you're going to go ahead and set all of these different pieces up here on the board in any order that you would like to and you're going to have this little border here uh, covering up the, uh, the two rows here in the middle. And everyone will go ahead and place their pieces, and when everyone's done, you'll go ahead and remove this, and then you'll be able to go ahead and start the game. Now, a couple of the pieces here uh, have special abilities. You've got what's the spy over here. He's ranked number one. And what the spy special ability is, is he will be able to take out the marshal if he attacks the marshal. Now, the marshal can also take out the spy if he attacks the spy, but that's the spy special ability. You also have the scout, which is number two. And what the scout can do is it can move uh, like this all the way up to like where the next piece is and all the way across and diagonally as well. It can basically move like a queen in chess. And then you also have what's called the miner. Now the miner will be able to disarm what are called the bombs here in the game. Now if a piece attacks a bomb, the bomb is going to blow up and then it's going to eliminate that player that went ahead and attacked him. But the miner can go ahead and disarm them. Now also there are... Uh, in the Assassin's Creed rules of this game, uh, there are certain players that are going to have extra abilities, and I'll go over how that works. So what you're going to do, essentially, is you're going to go ahead and pick a piece, and let's just say I pick this one, and I can move it uh, either across, I can either move it up or across, but not diagonally. And each player is going to be doing stuff like this, and let's just say we get to a situation uh, where red goes and attacks my blue piece. So what red will do is he'll go ahead and uh, show what number his piece is, and this one is a 7. And my piece is an 8. So since my piece is more powerful than his, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this piece. So if uh, the characters happen to have the same amount of points, that both of them are going to go ahead and get eliminated. And these spaces over here, you're not going to be able to move. Um, but you'll be able to move everywhere else. Um, so that's kind of the way the game works. You're just going to be moving these pieces around, trying to bluff people, which is a big part of the game because you're trying to like scare people into thinking you've got a more powerful piece or whatever. Um, but ultimately, again, you're trying to capture the Apple of Eden. Now, if you decide to go with the Sp Stratego special rules, uh, a few of the characters are going to have an extra weapon. The spy will be given what is called the Shroud of Eden. What the Shroud of Eden will do is if the spy ends up getting knocked out, um, he will be able to regenerate another player that has been removed from the game. So if this player happened to be removed from the game and the spy got eliminated, he could use the shroud to go ahead and regenerate him. And he can go ahead and place that piece in the first row of the game board. If there's no free square, you can go ahead and try the next row like so. Uh, the Sword of Eden is going to go to the Captain, which is rank number 6, and what the Sword of Eden is going to do, it's going to allow you to choose to attack up to two pieces at the same time. So here's the Captain, so the way it would work is you would just go ahead and tap the two pieces that you'd like to go ahead and attack, and then you'll go ahead and turn them over. Now it's going to go from, you'll go from weakest to strongest. Um, so in this case, uh, this is a 3. So uh, the captain will go ahead and take this out. And this happens to actually be the Apple of Eden. So the captain will actually go ahead and capture that and will take the game. But if it turned out that this was a bomb or something more powerful than the captain, then the captain would go ahead and get eliminated. On top of that, you also have the Apple of Eden. So what you'll do to use it is you go ahead and turn it around to reveal where it is. And then you're going to go ahead and tap one of your opponent's characters. And what's going to happen is that piece is going to come under the Apple's control for this one turn. And then he's going to go ahead and attack everybody that is surrounding him on the four adjacent squares. So he would go ahead and attack this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So it would work the same way. This is a four. So uh, you'll go ahead and look. That's a bomb. Uh, that's the apple of Eden. This is a three. So, And then this is a two. So the four would eliminate the three. It would also eliminate the two. And then you're going to go to the bomb here. And uh, it's going to go ahead and take out the, the player four because it's a bomb. So uh, there's also a few other rules. They have one here called Stratego Duel. But ultimately, this is the way a Stratego Assassin's Creed works. So my final thoughts on Stratego Assassin's Creed. Well, this game plays 
pretty much just like Stratego, and it does have uh, those players that do have those special abilities if you're using the uh, Stratego Assassin's Creed rules, uh, which I like. Now, I have a game here called Stratego Narnia that has kind of the same idea where it has certain characters that have certain extra abilities, uh, but it does add a little bit of depth to the game. Um, Theme-wise, I think the game is good. Um, the pieces... Um, they're pretty nice looking, you know, they're, they're plastic and they got things that you're going to stick on there, uh, but they definitely look different than your typical Stratego pieces. Uh, so I think it did a pretty good job thematically with the game. And of course you've got this little board here, uh, which is pretty cool too. Um, so I think anybody who is a fan of Stratego will like this game because it is basically Stratego, but it does have some extra uh, powers in there. Um, but also, like for anybody who likes the game Assassin's Creed, I would definitely recommend taking out checking out Stratego because Stratego is a classic game. It's a really good game. It's been around for years and it's a fun game in its own right. But, you know, having the Assassin's Creed rules in there, you know, it adds some more interest to the game, I think. So check it out. All right, guys, that's my review of Stratego Assassin's Creed. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.